Hello, how are you? I wanted to come in here. It's just such a gorgeous fall. The fall weather is like, you know, full on here in Vermont and it's such sweater weather and it's so fun and I've been knitting like crazy. So I thought I would share with you some of my finished object, well, one of my finished objects, um, then some, a knitting failure that I've had, that I had and um, I'm not sure how to deal with it or how to proceed with it and a really great book that I'm going to talk about, Norwegian, uh, Norwegian Knitting Designs. So, hope you are well and knitting in your part of the world and having a great time knitting. My name is Lisa and I'm not sure what this is called, if this is the, I can't decide what to call this little vlog that I do, but um, we'll figure it out. It's a place where I talk about knitting, I talk about how it helps us to be more mindful and how it imbues our life with creativity and meaning and it helps with all kinds of things that we all go through such as depression, anxiety. Um, I was reading something this morning about how depression, how years and years of depression can cause um, decrease in memory and that many people who struggle with depression um, actually cannot remember periods of their life. It's a really interesting phenomenon. Um, I mean, it's not like it just goes, it's gone from their memory. It's just that large chunks are not available immediately. And it's perhaps because they are caught up in their bad feelings and, um, but they actually are, you know, science is kind of wondering whether or not depression actually over a really long period of time can affect the memory. And it, again, made me think about knitting because I feel like knitting is one really powerful way to strengthen the memory. Um, I mean, I can't remember every detail of my knitting, but when you're doing color work, certainly, it forces you to think in a new way. And you have to kind of sustain focus for a really long time when you're working on it. So, um, you know, I think it's been shown. I have to research this and I have to get back, but I believe that I have read studies that showed that activities such as knitting, crocheting, um, crossword puzzles, things that cause you to think in a new way, um, that they help with memory over the long, long term. So I have certainly found that, um, <laughs> I have certainly found that knitting has helped with depression in terms of, uh, keeping my mind, keeping me out of my thinking mind, my perseverating mind, the mind that worries about things, the mind that you know, obsesses with things, um, and instead gives it a focus. You know, Elizabeth Zimmerman, I, you know, I love her, and um, she had an expression, it was knit on through all crises. And I just think that's beautiful because it, um, you know, no matter what, we go back to our knitting, no matter what, we go back to the breath, no matter what, we go back to our centered selves and that is what we do in life and that's how we maintain sanity in our lives and that's how we learn to identify to transcend um, identifying with the small s self and you know trans and, and connect with that deeper part of us that is here too and that um, you know it's only through practice and and Although I don't consider knitting to be a practice, it has practice-like um, elements, and it's and it has many of the effects that practice has, including, um, you know, helping the mindset. So I'll just show you what my latest thing. I've been knitting, kind of um, madly knitting. I wanted to get this done. I so I started. Petite Knit has something, she has something called the Terrazzo Pullover. And I got started with that and I had some, um, I had some trouble with the pattern. I'm not, admittedly, I'm not a big pattern knitter. I was, you know, I used Elizabeth Zimmerman's EPS system and I kind of use her as a recipe and I make garments based on that. And now I've just recently this year started doing patterns. 
um, and I love it. I, I also find that I'm learning from patterns. So, um, but I was having trouble with that knit. I was having some trouble with it and um, I made a mistake. I did the, so it starts off, you start, it's a top down, uh, you know, um, sleeveless kind of uh, pullover with a split hem and a turtleneck. And you start, you pick up stitches, you start, you start at the, uh, the back neck and then you work the back, back and forth, uh, in stockinette, and then you um, pick up, you pick up um, stitches for the shoulder, and then you create kind of a band for the shoulder, and then you kind of stitch over to the other side and make the stitches and, and make the other shoulder, and then this the other shoulder, and then you make the front. Well, I I don't know what I did, but my my back went this way, my front went this way, so <laughs> it was crazy, and I went to. Um, so I had it reversed. Somehow I did something wrong. I did start on the wrong shoulder. Um, I printed out the pattern and I'm not organized. I should really like just, you know, staple everything together in order. And I, I went through and I did kind of, you know, circle the, the, uh, my, my, the stitches that I needed for my size, but I didn't, I wasn't organized enough. And um, anyway, so I went to my local yarn store and I picked the brain of the, the lovely woman there. and. She tried to help me and then that didn't help. And so I just said, I'm putting it aside. I have to, you know, we all have those knits that are just frustrating in the moment and I may end up just frogging it and starting fresh with some new yarn. Um, but we have those failures and they teach us something. I really just want to learn what I did wrong. I want to see what it is that I did wrong. So I'm keeping it on the needles. I'm going to, I have to pick up some more yarn sometime this week. So I will, you know, show it to my friend and see what she says and see what I can learn, what I, the mistake that I made. And then I'm going to rip it back and start fresh with something new because it's, the, that's how you learn knitting through mistakes, right? It's it's every nothing is different. Everything in life is like that. We learn from our mistakes. Um, so anyway, I look forward to doing that, and I might want to do it in a um, really beautiful yarn. Um, I was thinking it might be really beautiful to do that in a plot, in a um, plotilope or something like that in Norwegian. Um, you know, holding double stranded or uh, you know. Einroom yarn, something like that, something like you know Norwegian wool with silk or something like that. Just might be really, really beautiful to do that. And then I'm thinking if I'm going to do the 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 pullover, I might as well just add some sleeves and just have another turtleneck. Like I I love turtlenecks, and I did not knit this. This is a purchased item, but I do love it. It's it's a beautiful wool. It's an Italian wool. I love it. So anyway, so I had the bad experience with that put it aside and then I said let me make something simple and easy and I made this uh, it's from Pearl Soho it's the traditional uh, I think it's called the traditional cap it's a free pattern I used my beautiful uh, I loved the I love this yarn the Ito Rakuta yarn which is a camel um, I said in another podcast that it was camel and um, in uh, cashmere it's not it's cash it's camel and merino wool and it's so light and very warm, and um, it's basically just you know you knit you pick up at the bottom and you knit this rib stitch, and then you do the decreases at the top, and it's um, it's just a really nice functional cap. I mean, I can wear it. My, one of my kids can wear it. My son. It's like it can be worn as a beanie. I'm gonna try putting it on, even though I, I did my hair. Um, What's nice about this hat is that it really sits, it's very light on the head, so it doesn't mess your hair up. So it's, if you care about that sort of thing, um, and it's really warm, it's just really, really warm. And you can just, you know, you can fold it down if you want. I prefer it kind of this way. Um, but yeah, I really, really like it. It was a quick knit, I did it in a weekend, and, um, you know, it's really, really nice. Like I said, it can, it kind of, I did it in the medium size, which is, it fits all head sizes, um, most head sizes. Um, I tried it on my son already and it's really cute as a beanie. And it's just really, it's a cute, nice, warm hat. Like who can't use these? So I might just knit a whole bunch of these. I have some leftover of that Rakuta yarn. I may, might make them as like stocking stuffers for Christmas. So, um, and I have my, my shawl here. I've been wearing this, you know, just wearing this 
all over the place. It's just so beautiful. It's so warm. Um, it's just such a, this, this yarn is so great and um, I love it. I love wearing it kind of in this way. I wear it towards the front and then I sort of just, you know, pull it back and it's kind of like a night, more of a scarf and it's really, really warm because it's, it's cold up here now. I mean, it got down to 20, it got down to 20 degrees last night. So it's cold and you know, the, the days are, the mornings especially are cold and I love to just, you know, bundle up before I go out on my walks and, um, this is a great one. This is a great one to wear under a coat. And I find the, you know, the crescent shape or the V-shaped shawl to be a little bit harder to wear than a triangle, than a rectangular, rectangular shawl. So I'm probably not going to make another one like this, but, um, I do like this one and it's beautiful. And, um, I'm just, I'm getting a lot of compliments on it. When I was subbing the other day, a lot of the kids commented on it. So that was nice. So I wanted to talk about this great book. I ordered this book. I saw it, um, where did I see it? I don't know if it came across my Instagram feed or if it came across my Amazon, if I was on Amazon for something. It is such an inspirational, motivating book to look at. I mean, it's very, it, it is not simple. You can see this, um, this cardigan is really, really intricate. And there's, um, and you know, this is really intricate lace shawl, and then it's lined with velvet in the sleeves. Um, it's beautiful. I'd love to make this. I looked. I was what, looking on Ravelry, and I'm not. Um, I'm not sure I'm going to pursue that one. I think it might be out of my league for the moment. But I do find so many. I mean, so many. It's really. It's traditional Norwegian knits but kind of like with a modern spin. I mean, that's really gorgeous. I wasn't sure, I was looking at the pictures and I'm like, this is not a recent book. Um, it was, and I looked, it's, it, its first edition was in 19, was in, uh, was in 1999. So it really, it really still had a feel of like the 90s, uh, really oversized sweaters, which I actually, I do like that. I really like an oversized sweater. I mean, look at this, how, look how beautiful and, you know, the colors are just amazing. And it's, um, I mean, it's just really, really, those sleeves, oh my God. And the patterns, like, here's the charts. You know, the charts are, so if I were going to do one of these charts, I would definitely, definitely um, photocopy this, blow it up, because it's, they're very, very small. So it's a little bit hard to look at the charts, but um, some really beautiful, beautiful, really inspirational patterns. I mean, this is really just lovely, gorgeous. You know, useful, useful garments. Garments that you could definitely hand down if you're that level of expert. I thought this was beautiful. Um, really, really beautiful sweater. It has a detachable shawl collar which is a really nice um, detail. Um, and this is the one I'm going to tackle. I will tackle this sweater. It's gorgeous. I looked at some other, and you can really see the colors are gorgeous. It's exactly the kind of color work pro, you know, project that I'm looking for. Something, um, it reminds me of that sweater that was in Pom Pom a couple of seasons ago that had, it was, I think it was, um, Nora, uh, Nora Gons pattern where it was a cable, it was a series of cables that kind of did the same thing. It kind of came in, it had a very like um, medieval look and it was just, it was done in a similar color and it had um, beautiful, just beautiful detailing. And what I love about this is it actually has waist cinching detailing, which is so rare. You don't ever see patterns with that. And, but it's very, very oversized, right? So even the small, I think is 47 inches around. And um, when I was looking at people 
on Ravel when I was looking at other people's projects on Ravelry, I really liked the ones that fit people in an oversized way the best. So I think I'm gonna do the largest size, which um, is pretty oversized, but I think it's gonna be worth it, and I think I'm gonna really get more use out of it. So this is gonna be my like, you know, my long-term project that I'll be doing. Um, I'm not gonna finish this this year, I don't plan on that. Um, here's some really beautiful, I mean, look at that. I love the collar on that. That is just so unique. You know, so even though I'm not going to make that sweater, but I will perhaps use that collar detail on something. I mean, the, the charts are just, oh my God, I, I probably shouldn't be showing this, but they really are gorgeous. Um, and here's just a, you know, a really traditional Norwegian sweater that my daughter would love. You know, this is the kind of stuff she loves. She's um, 18 and this seems, you know, she can wear that. If I wore that, it would, it would be really, I think it would look too old, but I, for, on a young woman, it looks amazing. I mean, it, I just think it's beautiful. I mean, I, it's just not my personal style. I shouldn't say that. I don't care if it makes me look older, but um, this is really interesting. Um, I could see making this and removing maybe without the welts. It's just a little bit much. So I, um, but it's, I mean, my God, how gorgeous is this collar, you know, this crisscross collar and this beautiful color work and this beautiful band on the bottom. I mean, it's just, and then with that, you know, even just is that, it's a very wear, wearable with jeans kind of sweater. So I'm um, thinking about that as well. So there's just so, I mean, you could sit here for hours. There's a beautiful black and white. The color work is really really unbelievable gorgeous color work and um, the you know the photographs are gorgeous you could just sit here for hours looking at these pictures and become inspired there's even a children's um, sweater which is so sweet oh my god how sweet is that with little cats there's little cats in it you know so sweet So, and this is also the last one I'm gonna show you. So beautiful, I mean, look at that. Look at that, that is just, you know, so intricate and so beautiful. And, I've, and I was watching on Ravelry and that people love that pattern. They find it very easy and intuitive. And so it's a, to, to know that, that other people have done the pattern and uh, really enjoy it. So that's a big thing. So this is, you know, I love Norwegian knitting. I love it, I just think it's so, I spent time, you know, I spent, um, in my 20s, I spent five years living in Denmark. I wasn't, I wasn't ever in Norway, but I was in Sweden. I was in other parts of Scandinavia um, or other parts of Denmark. I was in Copenhagen. I was in Odense. I was um, in the north of Copenhagen, uh, the north of, of Denmark. And of course I went into Sweden, you know, by boat and different things. And I love Scandinavian culture. I love the style. I love Scandinavian knitting. So it's really something, um, I just think it's, you know, it's a really, really beautiful style. And I love that it's updated and, um, you know, made into a more modern wearable. And I mean, even now it's 20 years old, um, but it still feels really classic and beautiful. And so it's an exciting book I would recommend. It's a great book to pick up. And I'm going to get going because I am starting a new job. Um, I'm teaching. I'm teaching about 20 minutes away up the mountain up here, and I'll be doing that for the winter term and possibly the spring term. So, and I have students. 